problem 1 given the figure below we are asked to find the area of the shaded portion so here we have a triangle inscribed in circle with vertices points a b and c so given so angle b a c is equals to 60 degrees angle a c b is equals to 50 degrees the radius 3 meters so area of the shaded portion is equals to area of the circle less the area of the triangle so we know that the area of the circle is equals to pi r squared pi 3 squared is equals to 9 pi or 28.27 meters so we use pi is equals to 3.14 16 okay so we have a figure this is B, C. so it's center point at C so this is 50 degrees so we connect a line from a uh, oh so this is line so this is the radius radius so we call this angle theta we know that this angle here is our inscribed angle and this here is our central angle so from circle theorem number one circle theorem number one it states that the central angle is twice the inscribed angle so meaning our theta here the central angle is twice the inscribed angle which is 50 degrees okay so we have theta is equals to 100 degrees So we can now find, we call this side C, we call this side A, we call this side B. So in triangle AOB, so we have to isolate triangle AOB, we can now find side C using cosine law. So isolate triangle AOB. So we have A, B, this is O, and this is 100 degrees, this is 3, and this is 3, and this is side C. So, using cosine law, to find side C. Okay? So, in cosine law, we know that c squared equals to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine angle c. Okay? It came from this figure. So, let's say this is a, angle a, angle b, angle c, and this is side a, this is side b, and this is side c. So, we can now apply the cosine law using this figure so our c here is c and our a and b is 3 squared plus 3 squared minus 2 3 times 3 cosine 100 degrees 
so C is equals to 4.6 meters okay sorry we have here 28.27 square meters for the area of the circle okay so this is square meters so so we now we know now side C we can use either sine law or cosine law to find either side A or side B so so that we can compute for the area of the triangle using the two sides one angle formula so we use sine law so using sine law to find side A okay in triangle ABC so we have here a triangle ABC this is 50 given this is 60 degrees given this angle here angle ABC we can find so angle ABC is equals to 180 degrees plus 60 degrees plus 50 degrees so we now have 70 degrees so this is, we know this side C 4.6 this is side A so we apply sign law so, in sign law, we have the formula like this, A sin A is equals to B sin B equals to C over sin capital C. All the numerators are the sides, and this one are the angles. So, we have A over a over sine 60 4.6 over sine 50 so cross multiply is equals to 4.6 sine 60 over sine 50 and we can now find A is equals to 5.2 meters so we can now use the two sides one angle formula to compute for the area of the triangle so two sides one angle formula to find the area of triangle ABC okay So, we can now apply because we know A, we know C, and definitely we know this angle here, 70. So, the formula is A, area of the triangle is equals to 1 half AB sine C. So, area is equals to 1 half. A is 5.2 times 4.6 here sine the angle is, is the angle between the sides so that is 70 so we focus on this angle okay so our triangle, our area of triangle is equals to eleven point twenty four square meters. So by checking the area of the triangle, we obtain. We use Heron's formula, but first we need to find side B. Here. So again, using 
either sine or cosine law. In case, so in triangle, in triangle uh, AOC, AOC, so we have AOC. This is point O, so we draw again here. A, B, C, and this is O. So we uh, we draw a line here. This is O. We draw a line here. So we have in triangle AOC. This is three meters. This is three meters. So we know the triangle ABC and the angle ABC is seventy degrees. And this is the inscribed angle. So uh, the central angle here should be one hundred forty degrees and this is side B so to determine side B using um, cosine law to find side B so B squared is equals to 3 squared plus 3 squared minus Two, three, three, cosine one forty. So our B is equals to five point sixty four meters. So now we all know the three sides of the triangle. We can now apply the Heron's formula. So Heron's formula. So we need to determine first the semi perimeter. So our semi perimeter is A plus B plus C over 2. So our A is equals to 5.2. Our B is 5.64 plus 4.6 over 2. So our S is equals to 7.72. Now, applying the Heron's formula to determine the area of the triangle, so we have we have here the area of the triangle is equals to S, S minus A, S minus B, S minus C. Okay, substituting seven point seventy two. Minus point two minus five point sixty four four point six Okay we can now find the area of the triangle equals to eleven point two three sixty two square meters round up to two decimal places 24 square meters is equals to this okay they are equal this to here so now we can find the area of the shaded portion so area of the shaded portion area of the shaded portion is equals to area of the circle minus area of the triangle so area of a circle is we have the area of the circle is 28.27 square meters so we have 28.27 minus 11.24 we have uh, the area of the uh, shaded portion equals to 17.03 square meters. So this is our answer. Okay.